Good morning, grade four fives. It's Miss Mazzola here. Um, so I thought we would try something different. We have been working on adding and subtracting fractions uh, with like and unlike denominators. We're gonna have a little quiz uh, probably at the end of this week. So I wanted to make sure that um, everybody felt prepared and ready. I know some people said that they still didn't really understand it. And it's so hard for me to try to teach something when I'm not there with you. Um, I can send videos and things like that, but I thought why not make a video myself to try to explain it as best I can. Okay, so let's try this. This is new for me. So I bought this little board here. All right, so word problem. Isho eats three quarters, because we know fourths is a quarter, so three fourths of the cereal. And Caden eats two fourths of another box of cereal. So how many boxes of cereal did they eat together? So Isho eats three quarters and Caden eats two quarters. So that's going to look like this. Three fourths plus two fourths. And we've got to figure out what that is. So here are our two boxes of cereal. And when you're doing fractions, you can use whatever shape you like. You can use a circle, you can use a square, you can use a rectangle, whatever you feel like. But because we said cereal, I thought why not make it a square? So let's pretend this first one is Isho's box. Okay, and Isho eats three fourths. Okay, next box, this is going to be Caden's, and Caden eats two fourths. So we're just gonna do two. So to add them together, we're gonna pretend we have another cereal box. And we're probably gonna need another one I'll see why in a second. So, we've got the three for me show. Then we've got the two from Caden. Wow. So that means we have one, one whole, right? So one whole would be four out of four. That means it's one whole. And then we have one out of four. So they ate one and one quarter boxes of cereal. So we know that three fourths plus two fourths equals one and one quarter. Now, if you didn't put this as a one and you just put this as four out of four and then one out of four, okay, that would be five out of four, which is okay. That's just called an improper fraction because there's a whole number in there. Four out of four equals one. So it's one and one quarter, okay? But if you put five fourths, that's still okay, but let's try to get in the habit of putting it into a proper fraction. So that is our word problem for the first one. Let's try this again. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's kind of fun for me to do because I miss writing on a chalkboard. word problem. Jomi and Jacob decide to order a pizza. They each eat one third of the pizza. So how much is left? So here's Jomi's pizza and it says Jomi eats one third. 
Jacob's pizza, Jacob also eats one third. Okay, so together, there's Jomi's slice, there's Jacob's slice. So together, how many thirds did they eat? The answer is two. So one third plus one third equals two thirds, okay? And I've got one more. All right, we did one for the girls because we got it all the boys today. So, Sophia and Nina go out and get new markers to play with. Nina keeps three fifths of them. So how many does Sophia get? Okay, so this is gonna be a subtraction question. So we know if they've got a whole set of new markers, okay, and Nina keeps three fifths of them, how much are left? So let's pretend this is a full set of new markers, okay? Nina's gonna take one, two, three fifths, okay? So she's gonna take three fifths. How many does that leave us with? Two fifths, okay? So five, over five minus three over five is gonna leave us with two over five. Okay, so like de like fractions with similar with like denominators are a little bit easier because you're only focusing on the top. Okay, so it's the exact same thing. If you had five minus three, you would know it would be two. Okay, and you keep the same denominator. Okay, and I will post another video of adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something and see you soon.